What's up guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Elden Ring Kita Edition! Alright, let's do it. Alphael, I'm ready to go. I'm drinking an amino energy drink. So I got my energy to get uh, absolutely wrecked here. Because <laughs> that's what's it's probably what's going to go down. Uh, the whole area is just going to be a full-on wreckage, I think. These guys tend to drop pretty easily, I find, by the way. Also, it's interesting I'll wear, like, crown type of things. Or circlets. I guess they're circlets, technically. I don't know. It's not a crown. You know, for whatever reason, this, like, left door here, I actually missed for a while. My first time playing, I don't know why. Not like it's that hard to find. Oh, man. I'm trying to decide which of the difficult things to do first here. <laughs> it's all hard. Halo Coat Surgery. Let's take a look at that, eh? Where is it? It's going to be in order of acquisition. That'll make it easier to find. Uh, the Circo bears the crest of the Halig tree. Though watered with Mikola's own blood, since it was a sapling, the Halig tree ultimately failed to grow into an Erd tree. Uh, da, da, da. Hold on. I'm pulling up YouTube Studio. I should probably uh, make it look like I'm doing things so I don't edit this out. Okay. Because uh, you guys did have a bunch of comments on the last episode that I wanted to get to. Um, too. So... Yeah, I think I'm going to probably... Maybe I'll go down there. This is like hell for me, this whole area. <laughs> just because of, uh, well, the royal remnants that we're going to come to. There's a lot of them here. But the thing I was going to say, though, is it's interesting that a couple things in that description we just got. A, the fact that Mikolo was watering the Halig tree with his own blood kind of speaks to the fact of why Moog would have captured Mikola to use his blood for the Lord of Blood, you know? I mean, clearly there's something special about Mikola's blood then. Uh, and I sort of forgot about that description, to be honest. So, that it's actually really interesting now that I'm thinking about it, the whole blood connection. So, I think that's worth pointing out. Also, I find it funny that these guys are lookouts. That's the idea, that's why they're looking at here, but they're literally lookouts looking out at water. Like, the idea is good, except for, like, their actual location doesn't make any sense for where they're actually looking out in uh, practicality. So, yeah, kind of funny. Yeah, there's so many, like, little offshoot routes here. It's, I mean, it is cool. It is cool. It's just, um, I don't know. I just like the top area more. Maybe it's because of all the, the crap here <laughs> that makes it so difficult. Mikulin Night Sword. Oh, that's pretty sick. I forgot that's what was located here. Okay. Sword forged by servants of Mikula of the Halig Tree, with the design modeled after those carried by Karian Knights. Okay, yeah, Karian Knights. That would make sense uh, because Mikula. Wait, no, that wouldn't. Hold on. Wouldn't. That's interesting. That's designed after those carried by Karian Knights. I was thinking in my head like, oh, Mikula related to, uh. Lyurnia, but that's not the case at all. So it's interesting it's modeled after Karian Knights. Instead of Glintstone, however, Amber from the Halo Tree is embedded in the blade. That could have to do with Loretta coming here. Maybe she influenced it in a way. A sumptuous piece, yet it has never been offered to any knight. An ill-starred sword with no master. Except for me now. Oh, I could become its master. But I'm not going to, because I like being guts. <laughs> but I could. That's the point. I could. Okay, uh, also, this is a shortcut that I that is, like, way later on. Um, that's what that one is, but... Oh, man, he's already, like, shooting at me. This is what I was thinking I'd go to. I just didn't realize he'd already be, like, mad at me for nothing. I didn't do anything wrong. Griffith did nothing wrong. Oh, God. He's mad about that statement. Yeah, fighting these guys is actually what made me kind of start to get used to thinking like, oh, maybe like fighting these guys on ground can actually be easier than fighting them with the steed. Because you can dodge out of the way of all of the swipes pretty well. But at the same time, then he does this crap, and then I can't do anything about it. I just have to run, and that sucks a lot. Wow, that was lame. lame -o. Nope. You know, I really... Would have liked to, uh... Let's get an attack in for that. 
Great. The only the issue really here is this Scarlet Rot jump. That that bothers me. <laughs> oh great. Speak of the devil, he's gonna do it again. And I didn't get far enough away. Um Yeah, the thing Oh no, come on man. Come on, really? No! Oh my god. I was doing fine. I was doing fine too. Okay, I got a sacred crown helm just now, so I'm gonna take a look at it. And then there's actually a faster way to go, I'll take. Um, but let's look at this first. Flanged iron cap adorned with a crown of unalloyed gold increases faith. Worn by foot soldiers sworn to the Halig tree. Who is it that Mikolaj shall bless if not the low and the meek? Truly a great one. He is truly a great one. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm trying to remember. Oh, there's the fast way. Okay. It's just been a while since I've done this. So I don't really have to kill that guy. I don't know why I chose to. But yeah, point is we're going to use this just to quickly get to the exact same spot that I was at. No, you jerk. You, oh my God. That was really bad. This might be my death again. And it's funny, just doing that little run gets me 12,000 runes just to get here. Just because I kill like five enemies on the way. Okay. I mean, I'm cool with that one. I'm cool with that. I just... Please don't... Please don't be an ass. Well, you are. I mean, I gotta fight your, like, tree booty. Hey, there we go. Now I finally got this. I mean, it's not gonna do, like, crazy damage. And it could be a case where it actually would be better if I did something else to him. Oh god, this is going really poorly. Let's dodge and be smart here. Oh no, 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 why, why? Runaway time. It's funny how, I just, I hate that one so much. Like technically that shouldn't be the worst of them. And I just, eh. Hey, there he goes, all right. He's not the worst of these ones. There's one way later that just gives me so much trouble. At least the first time I play this. Alright, Rotten Staff. Uh, let's take a look at it here, I think. No, I was not looking at staffs. Where is my... I don't think it's in melee armament. Oh, it is. Alright. Ceremonial staff depicting the Earth Tree and its historic radiance. It festers with scarlet rot. Wielded by the avatars who protect the minor Earth Trees. Too bad they're rotting away. Uh, so I'm going to go... Actually, you know what? Before I go down there, this is actually a dead end up here. So I'm going to go ahead and take this dead end and read a comment from Cy Rainfire. Love that you found a new area with the connection to Deep Root Deaths. Thank you. So weird that the invisible walls were already broken. Yeah, I don't know how that happened unless they like... I couldn't use any items, so I don't know how you're supposed to break them except for maybe rolling. So maybe that's why. Maybe you used to be able to use your weapons or something before an update. And I definitely prefer the top of the Halo tree. The bottom is too many of those spawn of Satan and flurry of hands, guys. Yeah, yeah, which you're about to find out. Yeah, yes, yes, that. <laughs> um, Tyrant Chimera, love your intros, my man. Oh, thank you so much, dude. Appreciate it. And yeah, it's always fun to find different music. That said, uh, I'm missing some music. Like, because, yeah, I don't have all the music that I want. I want some more music. Some more. More. All right, gonna have to break crystal. Oh wait, this guy can like murder me in one hit, actually. I think. I th I'm pretty sure he has like some moves that can one-shot me, so I gotta be kind of cautious. Kind of cautious. Like I. There we go. He's done. All right. It's funny. These guys can be so difficult because they're strong, but then as soon as you break him, it's just over. You know, it is interesting that Crystallians are here too. I didn't really think about that and like what the connection would be with uh, Mikola. I wonder why, because there's quite a lot of Crystallians who've joined his side. And yeah, I just wonder if there's a specific reason. So, okay. Um, yeah, so I could jump over there. I'm not going to. There really isn't any reason, because eventually I can go there anyways. What I'm instead going to do is grab this stuff over at this edge. Um, and again, I don't think there's any like specific things here. There's a way to drop down, which is what I'm going to do. Uh, to go to the spawn of Satan, Flurry of Hand, guys. The Royal Remains. And I cannot wait for that. But I'm going to specifically try to go through a route that... I'm going to start, like, at this edge here. 
All right, uh, somber ancient dragon smithing stone. Cool. Yeah, I'll probably start as soon as I drop down there. I'm gonna use my uh, flask of wondrous physics so I don't lose all my stuff because yeah, this area is truly hell. <laughs> truly, truly. Okay. But I just want to make sure there's nothing over here. And this drop should be it. All right, let's do it. Let's go to hell. I think actually this bottom area is fine. Oh god, one of them's already guarding it. Luckily he's looking the wrong way and he's very confused. And I don't know why, but I appreciate it. No! Oh my god, I thought I was doing fine for a second and of course not. Of course not. Oh my god! No! Oh god, that's the death. That's death. No, no, no! I hate him. I hate him so much. Come on. Come on, Keita! No! 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 Oh. Okay. Alright. That's, I'm like, basically the way I want to do this is I'm just going to try to go, like, one little segment at a time where I kill all of them eventually, but... <laughs> I forgot you even needed any stone sword keys, but... Okay, ooh, it's in the fountain. America's sword seal, sick. We'll look at it in a little bit. The reason I'm not going to look at it right now is specifically because I still have my my thing activated and I'm definitely going to want it because there are so many royal remains here. Which again brings into question their connection with everything. And this is where I wish I'd done more lore videos by now just so I could have some of these answers that I don't have. Oh god, oh god. Okay, at least I could use that moment to take a break from this ass. What the hell? How did that happen? No. Nope. You know what? I'm gonna go this way. Okay, you're gonna warp A. Eh? So oh, come on! I really never got good at these guys, and it shows. Goodbye. No, I I'd stacked that by accident. I'm trying to get out of the way. No, all right. Good thing I used my thing. Okay, looks like I can get a level up, so I'm going to give another endurance to myself here. Um, although strength would be nice, but just to get some more attack. But eh, you know what? Again, I'm trying to be smart about this. Um, yeah, anyways, I'll fast cut it again. Okay, so I'm now basically at the next segment that I wanted to go to. Uh, I'll go ahead and start here, I guess. And again, this is just going to be me slowly working my way through. Um, yeah, this, this is where the guy was summoned at, so... This one's next. I said I'd take each of them on, even though they do come back. Um, which also sucks about them. I don't think any of them perma-die. So it's just like a nightmare. Even when you think you're through hell, you truly aren't, so... I wonder if there's like some special technique for these guys, I just don't know. Oh. I guess getting them to spew poison. Get the poke. Oh my god, if that poke had worked, he'd be done. Oh, get the poke, Kita! Get the poke, man! Okay. Whatever, at least I have more. <laughs> and I still need to look at Merica's sword seal, but... Anyways, um... Oh yeah, there's also some stuff down here with more crystallians. But yeah, at least like I got one more of them down. So I keep on my pathway here. I think there's going to be another guy out here somewhere. Beast blood. Yep, there he is. Nope. Nope. You know what it is, is I probably just need to be more reactionary to these guys, honestly. Whereas I just try to get hits in as often as I can. But I try, like, it really is like, I just need to be more reactionary. Crap. Get that hit in. There we go. Okay. All right, cool. Another one of these air ones done. Oh my god, <laughs> this area is so brutal. Oh yeah, let me keep on popping these things just in case. Oh, I doubt there's. I don't think there's any illusory walls here. I'm pretty sure I checked my first time playing. There's gonna be another one. It's great. This area is so awesome. <laughs> Are you convinced that I actually believe that? 
Okay. Oh god, there's the other there's another one. Um Lord's Ruin here. I don't think I've missed anything, but obviously this this fool. Oh man. Sounds like Godzilla with his roar. It's like Rah! Godzilla roar. There we go. Oh, I guess they're supposed to do two dodge. Oh god. I guess if I pulled off those dodges, it wouldn't be so bad. Nope, nope. I remember seeing this guy in the Elden Ring trailer, the first like main big trailer, and thinking like, oh my god, these guys look so cool. Never did I think that they would become the bane of my existence the way they have. Oh, look, was that another door I missed? Yeah. Okay, I'm back. I'm gonna start here because it looks like um, otherwise I'd have to like go way back. Let's look at the, the, like I'd have to fight some more of those guys. So let's first look at the talisman that I got, America's Sword Seal. So uh, I had the Scar Seal. The Sword Seal now is obviously similar, but better. Uh, but the interesting thing here is the legendary talismans, this is another legendary one that you need for the achievement. Uh, it's engraved with an Elden Ring said to be the seal of Queen Merica. So it's that same crucible shape, right? And we see it here, but now it's like really indented. Solemn duty weighs upon the one beholden, not unlike a gnawing curse from which there is no deliverance. So that probably gives a little insight into Merica and what she's actually thinking about what she has to do. Like It's not something that she seems to actually like. It's like a duty for uh, with the Elden Beast. Right? It's like something that she's like required to do more so than something she actually wants is how that makes that sound. All right, it's like, that's a really cool looking attack. I never really thought about it before. Oh, what are you vomiting there, eh? What's you vomiting up? And how do I get back down quickly? <laughs> I really don't want to fight as many royal remains. I'm trying to find the quickest route. Uh, Smithing Stone 7. Because there's still stuff at the beginning I have to explore. And um, I mean, I could do that stuff right now, I guess. Immunize cured white meat and then explore the bottom again later. I just really wanted to get the bottom over with. Smithing Stone 6. But the way I'm going, it kind of actually makes more sense just to finish exploring this segment. So I guess I'll do that. Uh, I was so close to finishing the bottom two. I just had to get that one last royal remain done, but that's okay. Halig tree helm. Oh, that reminds me. I got another piece of armor, too, while I turned it off from the basic grunt guys. So I'll take a look at those as well. Anyone behind me there? Yeah, there's that guy. Let's take care of this guy first so I don't get smoked. Okay, so the armor that I got is the ivory draped ta tabard padded cloth armor with a shawl in the color of ivory draped over the shoulders worn by soldiers sworn to the earth tree and then the helmet that i just got is a helm worn by soldiers sworn to the halo tree and iron helm graced by a crown of unalloyed gold okay <laughs> i saw those guys coming in as i was reading the description i was like i think i have time to try to finish reading it i think i have time Smithing stone seven now. Let's keep on using that when I can. And oh hey, look, another one of these. Alright. And brass shield this time. Good thing I got a bunch of stone sword keys, eh? So I don't have to come back and remember if that I missed anything. What's in this one, eh? Triple Rings of Light. Ooh. That kind of looks like what the guy was just doing. The... Yeah, it definitely looks like it, what the Clean Rot Knight was using. One of the incantations of the Golden Order Fundamentalists. Produces three rings of light and fires them forwards. The ring, the rings of light return to a position close to the caster before disappearing. This incantation being, can be cast repeatedly. A gift from the young Mikola to his father, Radigan. Yeah, there's a bunch of gifts from Mikola to Radigan. Um, and I wonder if it was like to 
get his love. Although he's already Empyrean, so I mean, it might not be like a Gwendolyn type situation at the very least. But um, yeah, he's like always going for that though, Mikola stuff. But I think there are also gifts from Radigan to Mikola, if I remember correctly. But maybe it's like him trying to convert him to this fundamentalist idea or idealism. Which just reminded me that I forgot to look at the lore thing I was supposed to look at for a co-worker. Whoops, I need to do that. I guess I'll have to do it this weekend. Alright. This should wrap up this little segment. And I can go ahead. Oh, hey, Greaves. Nice. I was going to say, now I can go ahead and hop on um, the roof there. Let's look at the Greaves, though. Again, the full set here. Greaves worn by soldiers sworn to the Haley Tree, rust-worn, and stained through unending conflict. Um, okay. I'll go this way. And then go ahead and hop on this. And, you know, we'll get some more of my, uh, my flask back. My crimson flasks. All right, and now I'll use one, <laughs> just like that. Yeah, there's just, like so many different little ways to go through this area. Wow, he almost got me with that. I wasn't expecting him to run through the like the hallway. I thought he was gonna like get trapped behind it, basically. Okay, anyone? Anyone? Looks like no. It's so weird to play a front software game without. Any mimic chess. All right. Um, Clean Rot Knight Finlay, legendary Ashen Remain. Finlay was one of the few survivors of the Battle of Ionia, who, in an unimaginable act of heroism, carried the slumbering demigod Melania all the way back to the Halic Tree. She managed the feat alone, fending off all manner of foes along the way. That is pretty incredible. Also, I think. I think it's implied that all the Clean Rot Knights are female, but I could be mistaken. Maybe it was just specifically that one. But I think a lot, all if not a lot of them were. Okay, uh, below is where I just was, obviously, with um, where I jumped to before. That's kind of how I started this path off. And we can now jump over onto this one. And run up this way. So I could jump over there and check that out, but I don't remember if there's anything like interesting there. I'm gonna do this one first. There's a bunch of guys shooting arrows here who are pretty annoying from the distance, like some ballista guys. I guess that's worth bringing up. A somber ancient smithing zone, stone, stone. Hey, look at this! Uh, another the sea bed curse here. I totally forgot that existed there. How many do I have now? I need five to do the Dung Eater quest. Oh, I still need to finish Dung Eater's quest, speaking of which. I set him free, but I haven't done the next part of it. Um, anyways, where is my key items? Let's go into item type. I have four, and I need five. I think a fifth one is in the next major location, if I remember correctly. Okay, um... I'm kind of like debating which one I want to take, which path. I, mean, I could go there. I don't even remember what's over there. You know, whatever, let's do it. The other way is easy enough with some clean rot nights. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. Yeah, this might be something where I have to drop to the bottom, which was my goal anyways from way long ago. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna have to drop down. So let's drop a wondrous physic. And uh, deal with more of my favorite enemies in the game. Everybody's favorite, you know? Every oh, wait. I could actually run back up if I wanted to, it looks like. There was a path. Oh, man. Oh, man. I hate them. <laughs> I hate them so much. Why? Why? All right, whatever. Let's do it. Oh, I was early again. But hey. Nope. Oh, almost early. I haven't gotten a single one of the hits off. That's really sucky. <laughs> nope. Oh my god. Oh my god. I hate them. Get that. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no, 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 no. That's death again already. Ah!
Okay, so just to change things up here, I'm gonna go ahead and go this route. Um, oh god. Yep, I knew I was gonna get hit by him, but uh, for whatever reason, oh god. This is not my day. Anyways, um, yeah, just to change it up. So I'm going, you know, I'll get back down there eventually. <laughs> At least I don't have to go for my runes. All right, anyone gonna follow me here? Anybody? Well, let's see if there's any secret passages. I'm not really too concerned about them. I just didn't want to be dealing with everything all at once, basically. Okay, old thing, and this is where I'm gonna have to worry about the ballistas. Uh, okay, ballista's not shooting me yet. That's weird, but all right, I'll take it. And let's go up this way. This is where the ballista. <gasps> oh my god, that was terrifying. <laughs> I'm so worried about the ballistas, I'm not paying as much attention to where I'm running. I'm like, oh man, I know the ballistas are coming. I know the ballistas. Oh god. What the hell? Oh, that's... I see. There's another way to get to where this guy was, the seabed curse. Okay, um... I guess I'll go down this, just again, to continue this pathway. Do the whole thing. Oh my god, I'm almost dead. All right, let's do this correctly now. Who's chasing me? I'm sure a lot of these guys are. <laughs> I didn't do a good job, really. Goodbye. All right, anyways, uh, I was targeting somebody. I don't know who just now. Where are my runes? Maybe they're up above or something? That's weird. I'm sure. I'm like worried about the bolt striking me right now. Just coming out of nowhere being like, Pachoo! <laughs> Just being like, Pachoo, you know? You know what, screw it. You're done. Taking you out. I got more Thomas to get to. From Haitani. The roof facing cliffs was the way I ended up down there to the, the deeper depths from last episode. I didn't know about the whole region before. That's amazing. It's so cool. It's so crazy uh, in how many ways you can traverse in the game. Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. Okay, here we go. So I guess that's all that was down there, huh? Well, all right. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. All right, let's go over this way now. And you guys were telling me some cool stuff uh, about how to deal with a bunch of guys I don't like up here, which we're gonna have to deal with soon, apparently, so. Wait, oh no, come on. So I guess fire makes it so when they do their crap, it just goes away. So that's nice, I did not know that. So thank you for that heads up. Oh, that's sick. Oh, I mean, it makes sense. I just, yeah, never had any idea. That's really cool. So sick. Oh, that's so cool. Thank you guys for that. Yeah, because it does make a lot of sense. Now what's he doing? Oh, come on. No, bad. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, thank you guys so much for letting me know about this. Yeah, I'm gonna get to the comment because I never knew and that's really amazing. Also, there's these asshole flowers that keep on spewing crap, which makes this area just annoying to go through. Okay, I wanna find the comment for who told me about that. Uh, you did a stunt. Oh, uh, Chris, I think from Christian Kettlewell. If you hit the plant with a torture fire weapon when they're spewing, they stop and the cloud disappears. You can juggle them between spewing and trying to head slam you like they do by dodging and hitting with your sword and switching to the torch when they spew and you hardly take any build up because the cloud stops immediately after you hit them. Ah, uh, that's so cool. Thank you so much. I had no idea. Um, yeah, so. That is sick. Do do. Let's see. 
Oh, crap. Great. You know what? I'll deal with the Scarlet Rock for a moment. I just want to take care of the last of these. All right, let's get rid of it. This definitely is not going to be the last of the Scarlet Rock here. Why am I even getting this thing? It doesn't matter. Okay, so I don't think there's really anything up here. It's just this little garden that you can jump to. And honestly, it's probably a better idea just to run past it. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and do this just in case. But I really don't think there's anything. And it looks like if I play my cards right and I die to the Royal Remains again, which I probably will, um, at least I'll have a level up. Although I could die here too because there's a decent amount of enemies in here as well. So let me be cautious. I have actually died here before, which is embarrassing. Oh, probably because there's a clean rotten knight. Okay, that makes sense. I didn't notice him at first. And there's a lot of soldiers. Okay, now I know why. I don't feel so bad anymore. And then behind you, you got the guys who are going to try to fire uh, arrow crap at you. Oh, wow. Hey, that worked out pretty well. The Clean Rotten Knight got hit by the attack that was meant for someone else. Mikola's Lily from him. <laughs> oh, okay. That actually makes sense. How about that? All right, Spear Flame Arrows. Let's see what else is going to be in here. No, I'm going to go ahead and use my Lantern. The thing is, the bottom is full of, full of Crystallians, that bottom area that I'm trying to get to, so this whole area is kind of going to be hell. Oh, there's two Clean Rot Knights here. That's what made it difficult. It's double the fun. Oh. I mean, nice block. Didn't fully work for you, but I appreciate the effort there. All right, anything. Probably not. Okay. This is basically just going to be a way to go right back down to where I was with the Royal Remains in the long run, but um, yeah. I could go ahead and get uh, Sight of Grace, by the way, at this point, but I'm not going to. I just want to double check where this guy was guarding. If there's anything interesting here, although I don't think so. Okay. There's that ladder. It doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and grab this for my fight with that guy down there who's watching and waiting for me. No! It didn't work! That was my big, bold attack I was going to do on him. Nope. Oh. Oh, no, he's going to hit me here. No, no, no. Okay. At least, like, if you get out of the way of him spewing, that's, like, one moment that you can, like, actually get some attacks on him. Oh, God. Ah. <sighs> okay, that one's done. So, I never am going to worry about killing him again. <laughs> uh, this area at the bottom, I think there's just another Royal Remains there. I'll check it out later. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and deal with the Crystallian area, which is over in there. This nice area that I missed. I think I have my lantern turned on. So, this is full of Crystallians, as you can see already. Okay. Um, so hopefully you got decent at them. There we go. Yeah, honestly, like, Crystallians usually aren't the worst. For whatever reason, the staff one just scares the hell out of me, and I think it's because I know he can just wreck me really quickly if I mess up. Whereas, like, this guy's not too difficult to deal with. But there's, like, a whole slew of them down here. Okay, um... Yeah, like, see, there's one of the pokey guys here. Actually, I think they don't even wake up if you don't bother them. Oh, God. That miss could have been my end right there. That was really close. There he is. There he goes. All right. And I think that last one to the left, the one to the left is the last one down here, if I'm not mistaken. And after that, I could go deal with the last Royal Remain down here, or I, it's probably a better idea for me to just go ahead and get the Sight of Grace. All right. Um, oh, it's just one of these guys. Okay, I thought it was going to be like the ones that I don't like. 
I thought he was going to be a magician. Is this going to break you? Nope, one more. Okay. Broken to pieces. I wonder how many hits it takes with other weapons. If it's the same number of hits or if it's like a damage thing. Yeah, I decided to reset my uh, my combo there. All right, pickled turtleneck. Oh, it was all for that. I don't even think I got anything else here either. Kind of forgot. I was thinking, ah, uh, I've kind of forgot that there's just nothing worthwhile here. Nothing, no secret doors, nothing. Oh my god. Lame. All right. <laughs> Well, that's, uh, that is what it is, <laughs> I guess. Right, I'm going to get the hell away from here so another Royal Remain doesn't come at me, bro. Cool. Yeah, it's hard for me to tell how long I've been playing uh, in the sense of, like, the Let's Play. Right, I think there's another Royal Remain over there, by the way, and, um, yeah, there's that item, but I don't think it's worth it to get it yet. I'll go get that later. I think it's actually a smarter idea just to run up here. Run up this ladder, go get the Sight of Grace, deal with uh, another tree avatar that's going to be coming up. And um, yeah, that area is also going to be pretty brutal. This whole area is brutal. All right, no more. It was fun while you guys could, I guess, but your, your time's up. Hashtag time's up. Haley Tree Soldier Ashes. Let's take a look at those. Spirits of common soldiers who carry the sacred light. When weakened, they explode to deliver a last-ditch attack. This was the bitter revelation discovered by the desperate soldiers who awaited the return of their lord to the rotted Haley Tree. May the flash of our deaths guide Mikola's return. Ah, they're waiting for Mikola, who is stolen by Moog. These specific ones are doing that. Yeah, so down there is hell. <laughs> it's just hell. That's the only way to describe it. So honestly, the best thing to do here is just say screw it and run in through the top, get the Sight of Grace, and then deal with them, I think. Haley Tree Night Helm. Because that is just brutal there. Helm, helm worn by knights sworn to the Haley Tree, graced by a crown of unalloyed gold. Increases faith. Yeah, and right down here is going to be my Sight of Grace. Meaning I can get another level up. Also, I don't think there's any reason to not rest here. I don't think the people returning is really going to matter at this point. Um, I guess I'll go with another strength. Um, I don't know at this point. I got a lot of endurance. I mean, I could have gone for more endurance, but I don't know how much I really want, to be honest. And here is where hell starts, because it's not this guy, per se. It's the fact that there's these two knights around him. That's, like, really the brutal part about this, is the knights. Because these guys are strong, and the fact that there's two of them makes them, like, really, really difficult to deal with. Especially the archer ones. Oh, yeah, I forgot that I think they can actually parry you, too, so that's fun as well. Oh, uh-oh. Get away from there, Kita, please. And... You know, you can also get this guy to follow you in here, and that's really what I want to happen, so I can just have a one-on-one -on -one fight with him. I should have saved my, uh, my thing. Yeah, there's, like, ways to cheese him, too, that I've found. Oh, great. Oh, God. Stupid knight's coming. That was the one thing I didn't want. Oh, God. Yep, I knew this guy was going to smash me. I think this guy can heal too, which sucks. Oh my god, all of his health back? I knew it sucked. I didn't think it was going to suck that much. And this is where you can start to cheese them a little bit. But I really don't want to. I just feel like I have to at this point. You know what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to try to run outside here. 
Because I just want to... I really just want a one-on-one -on -one with this guy. That's all I'm trying to get here. Oh, God. Of course. Of course, now the... Uh, that guy follows me. Of course. Um... Great. Oh, crap. Where the hell is the other one? No! Why are you following me so well now? Okay, let me... No, 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 no. I just want to deal with one at a time. Wait your turn, you ass. Here we go. All right. Nope. If I can get all three hits on him, he might be done. There we go. And at this point, I don't even know if I'll be able to kill the Urchery Avatar, because it's not like he's that easy. <laughs> it's just, at least it won't be like that uh, cheap of a fight. And the thing is, if I die, then I have to deal with all those guys again. Great. See, now he's just going to keep on doing that crap. And it's like... I need to get close to him, but he just keeps on doing that. Okay, here we go. No, no. And you guys have seen, like, from the past how much this attack just devastates me. Okay. Oh, he got his health back, too. Oh, it's probably whatever that spell is that was put on him. I bet. Great. Wow, that almost took me out right away. All right, let's hope he comes in here at least. Come inside, come inside. So I have more like ways to dodge around you. Nah. Okay, so at least now I can like try to get around him when he does that to me. Oh, great. Oh my god, I couldn't get around. I had nowhere to go. Oh crap, oh crap. No! Right when I get like a decent amount of hits on him. Great. Once again. And not that it matters too much that I'm out of my other thing, but it's just a little frustrating. Oh, come on. Sorry, it's just like, I... I That one move is so frustrating to me. Because I'd like to actually be able to fight him, but I just feel like I can't when he's doing that. Okay, you know what? Let's go into your uh, actual arena. Now he's not chasing me. Of course, before he was so keen to chase me when he has Clean Rot Knight Brother. Okay, come on. One and two. I can get around you, get a couple attacks in. And, oh, a stomp. Okay, that's fun. Let's do a couple dodges around. Hopefully I can stun him after this. There it is. And there we go. Taken care of. Ugh. Lord's Rune. Nothing even that great for it. So I am going to want to go downstairs, but what I'll probably do first before I run down there is, um, man, I forgot there's like another path here. Arteria Leaf, Golden Rune, is go ahead and rest again. Okay, this is just the other way to go. This is the dumb way to go. <laughs> the bad idea way. So I'll probably go ahead and rest again, actually, just so I can... Uh, even though I have to fight these guys again, just so I can go down there, grab the thing, uh, have my heals left and all that, because I think there's another um, Royal Remnant, Remnant or whatever down there. Oh, okay. Oh, I forgot there was a ladder there. Well, I guess now I know. Yeah, of course, these guys are back, which is fantastic news. <laughs> Alright. 
No, bad. Bad boy. Bad boy. He's probably gonna try to heal soon. Oh, okay. If I try to do a heal there. One more hit and he'll be gone without getting that heal off. Hey! Okay, here we go. No. You keep that bow out. Aw, oh, that was a fast change. Okay. <laughs> Much better now that I don't have to deal with the total cluster of everybody. Well, you know what? At least, like, this next area, this next branch is just about taken care of. Oh, my God. I didn't think that they'd uh, be able to hit me from there. The thing is, too, I, I want to go down, so hopefully they can't, like, keep on hitting me while I go down here. And we're going to see another Royal Remain appear, which is so fantastic. But at least if I die to this guy, I don't have to worry about him so much. I'm just going to say, like, screw it if I die to him. Because I think that's everything. Nope. I am going to try to kill him at least, but yeah, if, if it doesn't work out for me... You know what? Que sera, sera. Que sera, sera. You got lucky, Royal Remnant, if you beat me. That's all I'm going to say. Alright, final one. Ghost Glove War 9. That's all the Royal Remnants taken care of. I know that there's this guy just saw me or whatever, but I'm just going to run up. <laughs> I already beat him. I already beat him. I don't feel bad at all about it. All right. Time for a level up, and I guess I have still some more time to keep on going. And also, I didn't get to as many comments as I meant to, so I'll try to get to some more. All right, level up. Let's do it. More strength. So, from uh, Christian Kettlewell, I haven't been watching you consistently, but I see you mentioned the Your Beautiful Prattling Pate. Did you talk about that? how that one, the voice of the mother, that's a great one or something? Box Mom. I'm pretty sure that's the same female old one that Moog was in contact with. They used the same formless mother name. I actually didn't realize that, to be honest. Uh, Elizabeth said that Jeremy has an overarching lore theory theme regarding the Divine Feminine. Um, I believe that she has many different aspects, and with Moog, her aspect is blood. It could also be there are many motherly, outerly gods, and this is another one whose name is gone. Huh. I, I honestly didn't realize that. So Jeremy's saying, absolutely astounding that a temple to a formless mother somehow connects with death. Who else do we know that is technically formless? Melina and Ronnie, perhaps. Um. There's so many... So many comments. Uh, da, da, Ken agrees with my less play versus long play distinction. And Pegasus says, this town has a minus... Oh, wait. Did I already read that? That was from last time, I guess. Whoops. Okay. Let me keep on going. Let's make some progress. Again, because of the deaths, I have absolutely no idea how long it's been. I don't. You don't have to kill these guys. I don't know if there's any real reason to. To be honest, I don't think I even did it in my game. I think I just ran and grabbed the chest and peaced out. And was like, okay, I'm good. Rotten Crystal Sword. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, these guys also have uh, Scarlet Rot. So, you know, that's cool. I think that's going to be my death here. I'll try to get out of it, but... Wow, okay. I'm actually a little surprised... <laughs> I'll look at that in a moment. Oh, hey. All right, they're following me. All right. Well, if that's the case, let's see if I can take any of them out. Oh, God. Not going so hot here. But hey, who knows? Uh-oh. Bye-bye. <laughs> ah, whatever. Unless they drop something that I'm not aware of, I'm just going to say screw it. It's not worth it. All right. Uh, So... Jeremy says, Dave, I was trying to use all the lore I learned, but I could be wrong. Here's my thought. First generation Albanarchs came after Silver Tears. 
And while we do have not have a certainty as to who created them, I just sort of took that to mean post Gloam Queen. Mirka obviously in some fashion or another usurped the Gloam Queen. Um, the Envoy NPCs not reek a perfected Albinoric. Oh yeah, that's an interesting thought. They do look similar, but there's nothing that says that. I, I'd, I'd have to go back and see if they bleed the white. Oh yeah, I should, I should look at that weapon that I got. Because that would be like a good answer right there, is if they have the same blood. Rotten and Crystal Sword. Sword fashioned from pure crystal, a deed impossible for a human. It festers with scarlet rot. So even Crystallians can get uh, Scarlet Rot, as it turns out. I guess everything can. Everything. Everything. You can go up here, but it doesn't. there's nothing you can get here, by the way. When I first got up here, I was like, Oh my god, maybe there's some secrets up here. And no. But there is this I can get. The Hero's Rune 5. And alright. Let's keep on going deeper. Deeper, deeper. I wonder if next episode I'll be able. To, I'll have time to fight Melania or not. I mean, that fight's gonna take me a while. I still haven't decided if I want to fight Melania with. Uh... Oh, whoops! If I want to fight Melania with my a Spirit Ash or not, because that's like the one battle where I'm like, uh... I could probably eventually beat her without a Spirit Ash, and it'd probably be fulfilling. But at the same time, that might take me hours and hours and hours. So I'm. Just debating. Oh, look. Oh, that's cool. The swinging light. I don't know if that was intentional, but that was pretty cool looking. And look at this. The You can see now the core is just festering the halo tree with scarlet rot. Um, probably because Melania is back here. But I do wonder if it was something where it was rotting anyways with um, in the first place with Mikola. Like maybe there was always rot at the core. And that's something that I've wondered. Um, if this is really like, maybe there's something tainted about Mikola in the first place. Because um, obviously you could say this because Melania, Melania is back and her Scarlet Rot's blooming here. You could definitely say that, and that's the reason. But yeah, either way, the Halo Tree at this point is just rotten at the core. And just now it's like the roots are going to be spreading Scarlet Rot everywhere. And this is... Uh, we're starting to see like the rot guys here who like worship the rot. That's what I, that's what this guy is. They just they love their scarlet rot so much. It's their favorite thing ever. Um, and yeah, it makes sense that they would be here because it's just festering in scarlet rot. You know, I'm gonna take this so I slowly heal. Not that I feel like I'm gonna die, but to get the slow heal. But yeah, it's just another point where we're gonna have to just enjoy scarlet rot. But this this little section is pretty short. The main thing about it is that there's going to be a tree spirit over there, which, yeah, you know, maybe I'll try to five time. If, I mean, it's telling me I'm at 58 minutes, but again, with the deaths, I don't know how long it's actually been. Because there's a whole bunch of things to do over there, and it might be nice to take out at least one tree spirit. But we shall see how I feel, I guess. I actually didn't notice he was popping up at first, so I'm glad I healed. Oh, God. What just, what just attacked me? Oh my god, I'm gonna- I'm about to die! Okay. Woof. Really don't want to have to go through this trudge again. Oh hey, a bigger guy. I don't have to kill him, I don't think, but... I want to. I need to. This is one of the normal ones. Non-baby ones. Looks like a baby one's behind me, though, because I see that Scarlet Rot. Oh, never mind. It's just my sword making that happen. Pests. That's what these guys are called, because I got that pest glaive. Oh, here. Little baby pest. Such a fun little spot here. <laughs> oh, look. You can even see the mushroom stuff again. I mean, I guess, like, a quicker way to find them. Quicker way. Another way would just be if I kept on, like, clicking. You can kind of automatically see them, because you start targeting on them. Look at that guy over there. That's like freaking out inside. Ah, this area is so much fun to trudge through. All right. I just want to feel like I did everything just in case there's something here, but I don't, even though I don't think there is. It's funny. Oh, hey, he was actually alive. I couldn't target him, so I wasn't sure. 
course, Eonian butterflies. Because the Scarlet Eonia. That's all over this place. Alright, another one of these boys. I don't know why I decided to take on everything when I really didn't have to. It's amazing how short this little area is, though, before you get to another, uh, another side of Grace. Yeah, when I first got here, I was like, oh my god, I really have to trudge through Scarlet Rot again <laughs> after the Lake of Rot. Alright, anyways, that's the, the main part to trudge through. Oh, would have sucked if I died there. Do I not have Scarlet Rot anymore? Did they run out? That'd be nice. And look at that. There's the base of the Halo tree. We can see it from up here. So, I don't know. See if next episode that's where I'm at or not. Uh, yeah. Okay. You know what? Let's just go here. And I'll deal with the... Yeah, it's okay. One hour, one minute. I'm sure with all the like deaths that I had last time, I've got time. Pretty sure. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and do it. This is, uh, gotta take on this to finish the, um, what's your name? I keep on wanting to say Melina. Starts with an M, but Millicent. The Millicent quest line is gonna continue here and wrap up here. And actually, there's some interesting things to do with it um, that I didn't know about the first time that I'd like to do this time where you can go talk to Gowry and he has some, like, interesting things to say that reveal a lot about his character and who he is. But yeah, this whole area is just kind of a nightmare to deal with. This whole area, the whole Halig tree is just, like, definitely, I mean, 100% to me, this is the true final dungeon of the game. Since it's, like, the side quest dungeon, you don't have to do. There's obviously the the final dungeon you have to do, but I think the side quest dungeons in most games that are the final dungeons are always the true hardest one. So, all right, let's uh, let's have fun here. As long as I can roll, I won't mind, but I don't remember if I can or not, like how deep this is. Okay, I can. Um, so at least there's that. Yeah, I think this is actually going to be... Oh, you know what? Maybe it's not the final tree spirit, but it's going to be close to the final tree spirit at this point. Oh, I got lucky. He decided to just go the complete wrong way with that. Oh, lucky me. I mean, I'll take it. Thank you. Oh, I was like, why do I have so little health? Oh, right, because it's draining thanks to the scarlet rot. Of course. You might hit me with that. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. First, I thought I dodged it. Of course I didn't. Oh, let's get away from that. Use it for a couple hits. He's about to do his explode thing, which is great, but hey, look at that. I can get this on him. Yeah, he was about to be pretty rude to me. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh god, this could be my death, actually. Uh, <gasps> whoa, I didn't think it was gonna be death by me falling off. That was, that was real close there. Damn. That would have been wild. What a death that would have been if I'd just fallen right off. It would have been pretty funny, actually. I would have been sad and lolled at the same time. Oh, God. I'll see you guys in a moment. That was... Guess what? I'm not even going to show any of that last one. I'm just click cut to the death. You know, you'd think, after how many tree spirits I've fought, this would be like, a whatever thing. Like, ah, another tree spirit, okay. But, I guess it just also goes to show I never truly mastered them. But, you know, it's okay. I mean, it's not like... I mean, I've been doing, like, decent against them. I keep on getting them down to, like, frankly, like almost no health left before I die. So it's not like I'm doing like horribly against them. It's just not, you know, great. <laughs> it's not perfect. It's not good enough. All right, you're gonna do your AOE probably? Yeah. This time I remembered. The other times I was just kind of screw it, which was a mistake. Oh, great. Nice. Good job, me. 
Oh my god, come on. I'm just mad at myself, you know? I'm not mad at him for doing it, it's just more like my ineptitude. Get the heal, get the heal. Oh, what? I didn't know he had a second tail attack through there. Oh, you're gonna try to spew fire at me, eh? Wait, what the? Oh, that was the AoE. Okay. Totally did not realize that. Nope! Wow, I've not been able to get anything on him for so long. There we go. At least I'm getting some attacks on him again. Okay. What? Where are you going? Stop going up there, you jerk! Oh god. This could be my death again. He's so close. He's so close. There we go. Alright. Golden Seed. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, next thing to do is we gotta find, uh, Millicent here. Wait. Oh, you can do it right here? Right now? Okay, I'm gonna see if Gowry's thing has happened yet or not. I thought you had to wait a moment. I know you knew you had to kill that guy, but let's, let's check on Gowry. So I'm gonna quick cut. All right, Gary, do you see anything interesting yet, or is it going to be afterwards? Looks like he's got something interesting to say. Oh, I didn't notice you there. Welcome. How may I help you? My apologies, though. You hardly needed to see me like that. What was he doing? Oh, why are you crying? Oh, it's just... I realized that I'd soon be saying my goodbyes to Millicent, and... My eyes began to well. She is to meet them very soon, her sisters. And when she does, she'll be defeated, surely, and begin to flower. Become a flower? Which is why, if you happen to be present for the girl's fight with her sisters, I ask that you side with the sisters and kill Millicent. It must be done by your hand, no other. Millicent trusts you, rather deeply in fact. Sever that trust. Nurtured by betrayal, her bud will flower most vividly. When Melania ascends to godhood, Millicent too shall be reborn. As a scarlet Valkyrie. You can't tell me you don't wish to see it. The superior bud that is Millicent becoming the finest of flowers. I beg of you, kill her with your own two hands. You can't tell the superior. I beg All right, I'll talk about what he said in a moment. I'm going to go ahead and quick kind of just do the Millicent stuff since I started it. So see you guys there. Okay, so I'm back here. Um, basically, Gowry is a dick and he wants me to kill Melania or Millicent, I mean, which I can do by being someone to challenge her and work with her sisters or we can help her. Uh, it vastly changes some, a couple things. Helping her is definitely the correct thing to do if you go the Chaos Flame route, because it's the only way to, if you give yourself the Chaos Flame, it, to reverse it, is by helping Millicent and defeat her sisters. Um, they are pretty, pretty damn strong and difficult, as you can see right there. But she's also pretty badass. So, like, you can watch her fight a little bit if you have a moment, but like, yeah, she's like really, really strong. <laughs> Crap. Wow, that was in the I did awful. Jesus. So yeah, to be honest, I'm not great at this fight as you just clearly saw. Uh yeah. <laughs> The third sister, eh? But yeah, it's interesting that she has so many sisters. And again, it's like, who, um, who was it that she, you know, are they like daughters of Melania? And the whole like Scarlet Roth thing. So, okay, let me crap. Uh oh, so close, so close. Okay, there's one gone, and let's deal with. Oh wait. There's four sisters. I thought there were only three. Oh, God. Oh, my God. 
Yeah, this fight's just brutal. Well, at least, like, you know, I mean, again, she's so damn powerful that, like, as long as you take out a couple of them, like, she should be able to handle herself, to be frank. Like, she is, like, super duper. <laughs> Alright. Ah, I actually did pretty good this time. I helped her out a ton. That's nice. I'll get the final blow for her, too! Oh, yeah, we helped Millicent so much. That's awesome. Millicent's sister's defeated. Returning to your world. So... You're going to get two different things. Rotten Wing, Sword, Insignia. If you help her, don't. If you don't help her, you can get... If you, like, fight her, you can get her arm back and, I think, use it for something. But, um... Helping her is going to get you the Unalloyed Needle, which you need if you decide to curse yourself um, with the uh, the Flame of Chaos. So if you have the Flame of Chaos, the only possible way you can get rid of it is you have to complete Millicent's questline and help her. Rotten Wing, Sword, Insignia. Greatly raises attack power with successive attacks. A talisman depicting a raised prosthetic blade, an honor bestowed upon the Valkyries who serve the goddess of Rot. The four sisters were born in the swamp of Ionia and came to the Haley Tree under the aegis of Gowrie, and yet those buds were doomed never to, blo to never blossom. So all of them apparently came here because of Gowrie. Uh, yeah, Gowrie, you suck. I mean, he just wants an age of rot, basically, so he's trying to do what he can. I don't think he necessarily hates Millicent. He's just using her. Really, um, I think it's more so that. Oh. Hello, thank you for lending your hand. Without your help, I could not have defeated that quartet. I feel as if I've been in your debt from beginning to end. Thank you. With your help, I was able to live as my own person, if only in passing. But this is where things end. I paused to even tell you, but I took out the needle myself. Tell whoever put you up to this that if I am to flower into something other than myself, I would rather rot into nothingness as I am. Hmm. So she's kind of aware of what was going on there in the scheme. Please. Let me pass alone. The scarlet rot writhes now. Worse than ever. Soon, I won't be more than a mound of flesh. Curse laden. Untouchable. I wouldn't want such a thing to bring you harm. If only she had uh, what I have. You know, if she had... Um... A preserving bolus, she'd be fine. Look, just take a preserving bolus. Right. It's just funny that like you can get the Scarlet Rot, but you're fine. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna quit out just so I like reload right here. And from Elizabeth Cassidy, uh, she did a quick Google search on Elphiel, which appears to be related to Ephiel, which means God's work. Um. But the fact that the tree needs a brace, that's never a good sign for a tree's health and long-term security. Yeah, there's, like, a lot of things that were already hinting at it that she mentions, like, all the moss, the fungal stuff going on on the tree, which is all bad signs. And uh, also the fact that it was probably a bad idea to bring Melania here and, like, bring Scarlet Rot into this tree. All right, so we now get the Unalloyed Gold Needle, which is extremely important, uh, again, for if you do the Chaos Flame quest. So, Intricate Needle of Unalloyed Gold... Removed by Millicent from her flesh, it bears no trace of befouled blood, but is faintly moist with dew. There is something I must return to Melania, the dignity, the sense of self that allowed her to resist the call of the Scarlet Rot. And unalloyed, as I think uh, Elizabeth uh, brought up, or you guys have brought up, and, like it's almost like resisting the gods and the outer gods' will, which could be also like, like it works against Scarlet Rot, as Rot came from outer gods. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is quick cut again, because I'm going to go talk to Gowry. All right, so now we went against Gowrie's will. Let's see what he has to say. Oh, look, he's a wreck again. <laughs> Dick. Oh. Millicent, my daughter. Why would you take out the needle? You were so close, so very close to becoming the fairest of all flowers. 
Would you disown us, too, as your mother did? We children of the Scarlet Rot. Wait, as your mother did, is the mother Melania? Is that who he's referring to? Millicent. Melania. Do you detest us so utterly? I guess so. So, Melania is Millicent's mother. So, who's the father? Uh, yeah, so I don't think we can buy stuff from him anymore, but let me do a quick check by, like, exiting and reloading. So, I'll just be right back again. Nope, doesn't say anything different. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to kill him, honestly, so I could buy his stuff, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. All right, I'm going to return to the drainage channel, uh, grab a level up by popping some runes, and then uh, next episode is going to be hell because I think uh, I'm so far down at this point that I can't imagine I won't hit Melania within the time period, So, especially since I just took care of that side quest. So, yeah, that's uh, certainly going to be something. All right, let's go. Let's use two of these, maybe. I probably didn't even need to, but... Yeah, actually might have been exactly the right amount. And level up. Oh, actually not quite enough. Good thing I have so many of these. Uh, just, you know what, let's use... I meant to use a couple of those, but... 400 actually might be enough. <laughs> I wasn't really looking at the numbers. No, I need one more. One more of the smallest amount. That's why I've been collecting these. I got 99! Just for this exact thing. Haha, <laughs> came in handy. Uh, okay, so I guess I'll go strength again. Again, try to do a little more damage to Melania. All right, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Next episode is going to be hell. I am sure of it. <laughs> All right, hardest boss of the game next episode, I have to imagine. So I'll see you guys next time as we go to the bottom of the Haley tree. And thanks so much for watching. See you guys. Later, guys. Peace.